In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of creating galleries in Gutenberg using Foo Gallery. In your WordPress admin dashboard, navigate to the Add Gallery submenu within the Foo Gallery menu. Let's explore this page together. You'll find an input field for the gallery title, where you can enter the title of your gallery. For the purpose of this video, I'll input setting up a gallery in Gutenberg using Foo Gallery. Just below the title, you'll notice a meta box designed for adding your gallery images. You have the option to upload new images or select them from your media library. Once you've chosen your images, the next step involves selecting your preferred gallery layout. Foo Gallery offers a variety of 10 layouts to choose from, so you can pick the one that best suits your needs. If you're planning to use your gallery for commercial purposes, I recommend considering the product gallery layout in Pro Commerce, as it provides specialized features tailored to e-commerce. For this video, I'll opt for the Slider Pro layout. Now, let's move on to the next phase, customizing your gallery settings. This is where Foo Gallery truly excels, offering an array of advanced options that surpass what the default Gutenberg gallery block provides. Depending on your chosen gallery layout, you'll find specific customization possibilities at your fingertips. For example, in certain layouts, you can adjust the number of gallery columns and decide whether these changes should apply specifically to mobile devices, as demonstrated with the masonry image gallery layout. In the video description, you'll discover valuable documentation links to essential gallery settings that are essential to understand. For instance, one of these is the detailed image caption, a crucial element for both user experience and SEO. While the default gallery settings are often sufficient for your needs, Exploring these options will empower you to fine-tune your gallery's functionality and appearance to align perfectly with your requirements. After you've completed the customization of your gallery settings, the subsequent step involves publishing your gallery. Simply click on the Publish button, and voila, your first gallery is now successfully published. Finally, let's showcase your gallery on a page or post. Simply head to your chosen page slash post. Click the button and select the Foo Gallery block within Gutenberg Blocks. Pick the gallery you'd like to display and click Select Gallery. Next, save your changes by clicking Update or Publish, then click View Page or View Post to preview how your gallery appears to your users, and that's it. Thank you for tuning into our tutorial on setting up galleries in Gutenberg using the Foo Gallery block. We trust you found it informative and beneficial. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more helpful tutorials. Until next time.